Greetings and welcome back to another Slippery Steve thing. Uh, this is what I'm calling the My Terrific Viking Cribs Tour. So, you know, MTV Cribs for all you OGs. Anyway. Let's get to it. This is an updated farm tour. Uh, a friend of mine said that he liked the other videos, but because of my choice of making them at nighttime to show off how cool the fires and stuff looked at night, um, kind of didn't do so great on the video quality. So we're going to give a daytime tour. And uh, yeah, here is the, um, you know, fire pit. Um... I'm just gonna kind of like ADHD OCD walk around here as uh, some of this stuff's being cleared out and moved to another location. Uh, I have two new locations that I'll be posting videos for. So uh, if you like this one, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments uh, your thoughts. But uh, yeah, we'll just go right here. Here is the obliterator. Uh, I started putting trees inside the walls just for those like real quick needs that uh, I'm just <laughs> too lazy to run out to the woods for. Um, this is the fermenter shed and um, let's see here we have our little sign that tells you where you're going and da -da 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 -da. This is the kitchen. This is going to stay pretty much all of this stuff. Um, and we got the workbench here. It's not fully upgraded um, just because this that's not where this is going to stay. Um, but we have all of our kitchen supplies. This is like uncooked meats, fruits, veggies, uh, and other things needed to make stuff. And then this is like potions and cooked meats and finished stuff. I think this is like finished stuff too. Yeah. Uh, then that's the portal back to my old home. This is where the forge used to be. I'm gonna turn this into uh, just like a makeshift bedroom for now. But yeah, this is more of an update, not just like a finished product, but uh, the farm's call. I call it the boar's head because it, originally when I started it, I had five boars. <laughs> And funny story, uh, a swarm of bats uh, raided my farm and killed all my boars because I had them free roaming. Because once you uh, tame them and continually feed them and stuff, uh, you can get them to mate and create little baby piggies. And uh, I was on the process of that, um, but the bats beat me to it and killed all my piggies. So here's my half farm. And then, uh, rest in peace, Huey, Dewey, Louie, Screwy, and Steve. This was their home. Um, and I just kind <laughs> of made it like a makeshift uh, place to crash if I needed to. And then the last part of this is the... Uh, what is this? Uh, oh yeah, th this big old guy. Um, I don't even remember what it's called, but, uh, yeah, it was too big to put anywhere else, so I just kind of, like, put it out and then, uh, worked around it. And we got a little crafting station there for any type of emergency repairs. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, and we're gonna put the windmill, uh, probably back around there somewhere. And then I'll just show you the final little part here since it's a gorgeous day out today. It says the boar set. And yeah, this does a really good job of keeping all the baddies out too. So like the only raid that ever got in obviously was the bats because they're airborne. Other than that, I've never had an issue with anything, trolls or nothing. So uh, yeah, if you liked the video, let me know. Drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, I'll leave a link to the other videos in the description so you can check those out. And um, 
keep an eye out for more as we continue to show off the next one, which is going to be the tower, which I call, in the plains, which I will go into detail about that on that video. Uh, till then, whiskey whiskeys.